And as you might not know, maybe you do know, the sacraments in and of themselves have the power, ex opere operato. From themselves, they have the power. Why did God do that? He did that because he knew the priests are also broken human beings. And he wasn't going to rely on the holiness of the priests to minister the sacraments. The sac as long as I do the right matter and form, the sacraments are valid. That's, and that's good news for you, you know? A priest in a state of mortal sin can still validly administer the sacraments of baptism, communion, confirmation, marriage, confession, anointing of the sick, and holy orders. The sacraments are a demonstration of the power of God. When celebrated in accordance with the intention of the Church, sacraments work independently of the personal holiness of the minister. Nevertheless, the fruits of the sacraments also depend on the disposition of the one who receives them. And there is a teaching here in the church that I wish to share with you called ex opere operato, which means from the work wrought, referring, for example, to the sacraments of confession and communion. Whenever a priest consecrates the body and blood of Christ or absolves of sin, it's always valid. Christ always works through the priest, even if the priest is in a state of mortal sin. Let me repeat that. This is a doctrine of the church, ex opere operato. Even if the priest does not meet the standards of virtue expected of him by God or the church, and let's take an extreme example, he's committed several murders, he belongs to the mob or something like that, and he's now not confessed and has no contrition, nor does he seek to be forgiven, but intends to absolve in that sinful state and intends to consecrate, the consecration still happens and is valid. The absolution still happens and is valid, which is a parallel teaching that it doesn't matter who the priest is but that he is appointed by God through the church authority. Okay? However, the doctrine of ex opere operato does not apply on the following, blessings of sacramentals, rites of exorcism. Sacramentals are not meaningless gestures and devotions, nor amulets and talismans for protection. The blessed object itself is not the source of power, but the faith that goes with it. Father Dan Rehill explained that the doctrine of ex opere re operato does not apply in regards to the blessing of sacramentals. Thus, the blessing of sacramentals will be effective only if done by a faithful priest who is currently in a state of grace. Therefore, when you go to a Catholic priest for the blessing of your sacramentals, be sure to choose a faithful priest and you have reason to believe that the priest is in a state of grace. Listen now to Father Dan Rehill explains about the blessings of sacramentals. You should have sacramentals in your home, holy water, and the holy water should have exorcism salt in it. And I know I'm sure these priests uh, do this because they seem like really good devout men. But if you go to a priest and say, can you bless my whatever, or can you make this holy water, and they do a drive by like this and keep walking, go to another priest. Because here's the secret on sacramentals. Sacramentals, that's a different story. That's a different story. That power is derived by the faith and the holiness of the person dispensing the prayer, the priest, and the recipient. So it does matter for sacramentals, the, the holiness of your priest. It's just the way it works. I'm sorry. I mean, I think you're in good shape here, though. You shouldn't have a problem. But that's really true. So when you're getting something blessed, make sure the priest is a priest that believes, that has faith, that prays, and that's using the, the, uh, the I always say the long form is always probably better than doing the short, shortcut form. And that's just my little two cents on sacramentals. And exorcism, by the way, is a sacramental. So they, they, the, the bishop's very kind of fussy and choosy when they make an exorcist. They want him to be somebody who's praying, you know, day in, day out.